The founding partners of Duxton, we're all based in a global financial institution and we've been working there um, probably for the majority of our lives in 2008, 2009. Um, we decided it was time to leave the, a global institution and go out on our own. So we set up uh, Duxton Asset Management and from there we started to build our own client base and then started to expand into Germany and into Australia where we operate today. The Duxton Group sits in three countries. It sits in Germany, in Cologne, in Singapore where the headquarters is and then in Australia. Those management centres control over 20 big investments. We think about things very long term. We co-invest with our uh, clients and we try and work through the cycle to see where we are in the cycle and how will what we're investing in behave as the cycle changes. In terms of uh, how we've grown in Australia, we're a significant um, investor in Australian water entitlements. We've grown our grain exposure with additional grain farms being purchased in the last year. We've also developed new projects. We've invested in dried fruit, where at full capacity we'll be producing 22% of Australia's dried fruit, and we're just about to invest in walnuts. So there's been a huge growth in our exposure. The interesting thing for um, investors in us is they have the ability to invest not just in Australian agriculture, but we have agricultural projects across five continents. So there is the ability for Australian investors to invest uh, across the world. We try and think about where does agriculture fit firstly, and with soft commodities currently at near all-time lows when you adjust for inflation. We like that. We like the fact that the balance sheet works for us. We don't only do uh, agriculture. We do uh, some listed investments and the team is very, very talented that does that. We also do some things in emerging markets and we also do some things uh, around sectors of the economy that we believe will do well uh, if we fall into a recession or if we fall into difficult times. In this firm, our clients come first, our staff come second, and the business does very well out of that coming third. From our team's perspective, we spend a lot of our time um, speaking to our clients and we know every client in the institutional and high net worth space that we invest with and we're very much focused on making sure that their experience is a positive one. We have a very, very transparent process. So when, for example, we did a dairy raise for family offices, every family that's invested in that raise has either gone with myself um, as part of the DD process or they've always been welcome to attend the dairies whenever they happen to be traveling through or if they want to do a trip. Every investor knows that there is nothing off limits and that they can attend any project whenever they'd like. Ultimately we're entrusted with, with people's money um, and a critical part of that is to make sure that we're acting ethically and responsibly. At Duxton we take that very, very seriously. Um, because as I say, at the end of the day, we're investing other people's money and we're investing that alongside of ours to show um, that they can trust us. We prefer just to do things, be known for doing them and doing them well.